Hello guys, welcome to today's video where I am going to attempt to organise the kitchen cupboards starting with this one. I've only got an hour before Baby Bell gets up so I'm probably only going to get this one done today. But I need to get it started because as you can see it's a complete disaster and it hasn't been sorted for ages. So first thing I need to do is take all the stuff out and sort out what's out of date and then I need to sort out whether I'm going to be putting it into jars or whether it's just going to be staying like the tins and stuff but as you can see here there is literally no organisation whatsoever like literally none it's still just piled in there and it's one of those jobs that I've been meaning to, to do for weeks and weeks and weeks now like literally weeks because everything is just shoved in there and it is driving me insane so today I'm getting it done. So if you enjoy this sort of video or you need some motivation to sort your cupboards out, carry on watching. And if you do enjoy our channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos that are coming up. So that's everything emptied out. That noise in the background is slow for going, it's really annoying. Everything is emptied out. Food wasted wasn't too bad. I mean, it's mainly just like a few bits, like there's a single cracker left in that pot, which is kind of embarrassing then this is all the packet stuff that needs to be sorted out and then there's some like jars and that and some jars from before when we tried to get organized and it didn't happen so I have to clean the cupboard out I'm not going to show you a close up of that because it's kind of gross and I don't remember the last time I cleaned the cupboard out it's been it's got it's been a couple of years so I'm gonna get on with that now and then we can start organizing there really was some random stuff to throw away here it's not too out of date because I know that I sort of this out a while ago. So it's not too out of date, but there's stuff on there that I know that we're not going to use and there's stuff that has been out of date. And loads and loads of McDonald's barbecue sauce packets, like literally loads of them. But that's all empty. I've got to give it a good clean before I can start getting everything put in there. So we've obviously spilt some rice at some point. So there's like brown rice everywhere in here. So give that a good sweep and then give it all a wipe down and give all the cupboard a nice wipe, get it all clean, which took me forever because there's like a, there was a sticker in there from like some packet rice or something that just wouldn't come off. But I've managed to get that all nice and clean. So this is what I've got to hopefully organise this cupboard. So I've got these extendable wire shelf racks from, these are from the range and we like measured it so that everything would fit in underneath them. So I've got two of those and then I've got these jars from Amazon. These ones actually ended up being a little bit smaller than I thought they were going to be. So I've got these two big ones as well. them. And they came from a website called Ring Kit and then I've just got this little thing, these little ones in there, this thing from B&M to put like crisps or crisp packets or biscuit packets in that. So these are just like basic minimalist labels from a company called Love Labels Knots to just go onto all of the jars. And what I'll do is I'll try to link all of this down below so that if it's something that you want to get you can find it easily. So I'm hoping that this is going to organise that first cupboard. I've got 14 jars all together, so I want to get as much of the like packets of stuff into these jars as possible, just so that they're not all falling over each other and getting in the way. But I am like literally shocked at how much, how many packets of pasta and rice we had. There was like three packets of each. I don't know why there were so many. Uh, the good thing about these labels that I got is that you can choose what you want written on them. There were things on there that we definitely don't use in this house. Once they were all done, it was then time to organise the cupboard. So I decided I wasn't going to bother putting the shreddies 
into any pots or anything because those are 750 gram boxes and they just wouldn't I don't have any jars big enough so I left them as they were and then spent ages trying to figure out where I wanted to put everything so I sort of organized it I've got like the breakfast cereals down there on the left hand side and then stuff we use for breakfast and then in the top right hand corner that's like baking stuff and then in the bottom right hand corner it's just kind of like random there's like rice and stock cubes and we've got for some reason we've got four jars of peanut butter i do not know why that is i think every time we go into aldi john just picks up a jar of peanut butter and then in that top left hand corner is just like jar stuff right we don't use a huge amount of jar stuff and for some reason we've got three jars of curry curry sauce um, and I, again i don't know why we've got that but it's interesting just to see what builds up in that cupboard when you don't sort it out for like a year and a half. Okay, so there we go. It's not like a complete minimalist cupboard, but this is a real life cupboard that gets used all the time. And I've got, I think I need to get some bigger jars because these ones aren't particularly big, but never mind. I obviously didn't read the measurements on Amazon properly. Uh, there we go. And my little uh, tray with the handle doesn't actually fit in the cupboard. So didn't measure that properly either. But all this stuff is in the jars. And then I've just put the packets behind so it'll be easy to see when I need to top up and then the next one I need to get sorted out <laughs> look at the state of that so that's on the list and also this <laughs> I don't even know what's going on in there so I'm gonna get that done as well and that'll be in another video but there we go guys all done as usual thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time bye